power flash will be needed on this job. What a last week it's been, I mean, last job, last video, heat pump, my god, went viral. Thank you so much for all your moral support. So today I'm back to good old gas boilers. We've got a heat only boiler on a sealed system and we have a vented cylinder and all the other companies, as far as I'm aware, they quoted to change it with a combination boiler. However, I asked the client his expectation of how he would want his system to perform and the client said, I really want to be able to use two showers at the same time in two bathrooms. Gas supply is luckily 22 millimeters, so you could put 30 kilowatt boiler on this gas supply. However, 30 kilowatt boiler will not give you amazing two showers if it will give you two showers at all. So they don't want pumps, they don't want vented cylinders, they don't want cold water storage system. So I said, really, the only solution is an unvented cylinder. However, I can't put that unvented cylinder in the center of the property because that's the existing vented cylinder and if I put an unvented my temperature and pressure relief needs to go outside I could in theory pump it but it's 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 quite complicated so I said why don't we put a cylinder on the first floor and that way I'll be able to take my uh, temperature and pressure relief outside through the bathroom I'm gonna use an intragas boiler and I'm gonna stick it on hot water priority 18 kilowatt uh, boiler will reheat 150 liters Oh, just very quick maths, roughly 25 minutes to raise the temperature uh, by 45 degrees. Now I'm starting to worry if the new boiler will actually even fit in here with the flu. Not bad, neatly done for a kitchen fitter. So we have a really, really terrible installation here. That's also an external wall, so they installed a condensed pipe that goes up outside and then down, like... <laughs> it's just pointless. I'm sure this boiler has been serviced every year. Look. <laughs> you can't remove that. <laughs> yeah, a power flash will be needed on this job. So I'm almost ready to put the cylinder in. I've run my temperature and pressure relief pipe. That was really tricky. See that pipe here? 22. What I've done, I've done this. So that pipe needs to go outside and it goes, I pulled it behind the bath, took the box sink off behind the basin and took it outside. Cylinders plumbed in, so I'm gonna go downstairs now and install install the boiler. So that's what I've done here. So we've got return with the filter and an isolating valve above the filter. Gas connected, then we've got flow. Going to the bypass, then going to... So that one's hot water, that one's central heating. And those valves might look like one of them is upside down. They're not. This is a standard two port normally open. This is standard two port normally closed. And it is actually the other way around. The, the head is the other way around on those valves. So the cable sticks from the other side. So the flow goes up. And yeah, that's it. I have to connect condens tomorrow and wire it. And now I'm gonna do something that you should never do. It's half past six and I'm gonna fill the system. So if anything goes wrong, I'll be here till 10. <laughs> so yeah, I never do it, but I'm curious. I found first leak, see here? I did not press that connection. And that's a beauty of press fit. I'm just gonna press it now, job done. 
so easy. My wiring's done, and to be honest, it does look a bit complicated. So, from the nest, open therm goes to the wiring center, and from the wiring center to the boiler. I'm gonna mark it so no one blows the board. Then, NTC goes to wiring center and back to the boiler, and it's wired in parallel with the uh, common and off on the hot water of the nest. So when hot water is off, it closes the connection and it also closes the NTC connection on the boiler and the boiler thinks the water is satisfied. And thinking about it, some people say four pipe setup on Wiesmann Wooster Bosch is simpler when it comes to wiring and looking at it, mm, they, they may have a point. I'm ready to flush the system. Luckily, I have an adapter for intergas filter, so that makes it so much easier. And a lot of you were saying, oh, you're gonna sludge up the boiler if you flush through the boiler and the system's dirty. I always flush through the boiler because what you do, you push clean water through the boiler, goes through the whole system, and the dirty water is pushed back. Dirty water never goes through the boiler. Once you've done it, once clean water goes through, then you put chemicals, and then you flash it hot because it's so much quicker and you clean the system so much better. And if you try to do it cold without the boiler, you never clean the system correctly. If you push clean water through the boiler first, you're not gonna sludge it up. And it really, honestly, you're not gonna damage a boiler. When you flash combi boilers, just turn the cold water supply to the boiler off so no one tears, turns the hot water on. Because the plate is the problem, not the main heat exchanger. And besides, this heat exchanger on Intergas has I think it's 12 millimeters copper pipes going to the heat exchanger. You're not gonna block those. You really would have to try so hard to block anything on this boiler. So that's clean water going to the power flushing machine and then clean water pushing to the system. Dirty water comes back. And I'm gonna carry on till I get clean water coming back from the system. So now I've added some chemicals, X800. I've also turned the heating on and that way with the system uh, heated up to 50 degrees I can flush the system much more quickly. I get the boiler commissioned and connected to a nest on a stand and the boiler on the display will show you five if it does uh, central heating and that's an op open term and it modulates down nicely or six when it does hot water and it's hot water priority. When it does hot water, uh, it doesn't do heating. Uh, the valve for heating closes, the valve for hot water opens. So normally open valve for heating is here and uh, normally closed valve for central heating is on the right hand side. So you can see the boiler is modulated nicely down. So if I put Hot water boost now. The boiler should fire at 18 kilowatts and change from 5 on the display to 6. As you can see, the boiler fired at much higher rate for hot water now, and also what happened is zone valve for hot water is open and zone valve for heating is shut. And in the meantime, the owners they managed to move in, so it's a clear sign they want us out, so I'm out of here. It's all done. Yeah, look. They clearly want me out, so goodbye. Finally, go, 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 go. <laughs> See you later. Bye. So, another X plan done with Intergas. An X plan is excellent if you want to put small cylinder or if you don't have enough space for a larger cylinder. And they also have much more efficient central heating system running on open therm thanks to that. So, again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video that might be another heat pump. That was solder, my god. That would be a nightmare. This is worth every penny.